Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got some amazing science, including something everyone needs to know about. We'll also give the answers to the three trivia questions in last night's special video, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. No significant solar flares and no big eruptive events. If anything, our eyes are stolen by the massive coronal hole structures. The southern sunspots we focused on yesterday have kept growing as well. We'll take a closer look at that. But for now, the solar wind is calming. Geomagnetism as well. So yesterday, we watched the growth of this new southern active region. As of this morning, both umbral cores are bigger than the established core that they grew up behind, eyes there for flares today. But a more certain space weather event is the incoming coronal hole. It's equatorial, will be facing Earth tomorrow night, and its solar wind arrives this coming weekend. I do expect minor to moderate geomagnetic storm conditions. Folks, this is Hurricane Kiko. On the left side, you see the big island of Hawaii entering the frame of the storm-centered lock view. It is indeed going to largely miss the state, but rain and rip currents are likely, so eyes open on the volcanic islands. Today's top story is a big one, though. Scientists have been watching the cool water upwelling off the Panamanian coast every single year, contributing to the nutrient levels and triggering chlorophyll blooms. But it just didn't happen this year first time ever. Usually this is what we see, the chlorophyll bloom in red caused by the upwelling, but for whatever reason, it just didn't happen this year at all. Imagine the leaves don't change color. One year they just fall off the trees green. Imagine the birds don't migrate one year. In this ongoing magnetic pole shift, our planet is starting to change in a very serious way. This is not a small change. Now, Here's the answers to last night's trivia questions. They will appear on the screen. The most likely time for us to have a geomagnetic disturbance is when the BZ of the solar wind tips what? Question two, the galactic current sheet. Does that act more like a magnetic field or an electric field? And for a bonus point, why? And question number three, how many ways does mainstream astronomy know how to create a recurrent nova at a star? And how many of those come with the galactic current sheet? It's a lot happening before the end of the year at Observer Ranch. Pole Shift Conference is up next, 12 days away. Be sure to go to ObserverRanch.com to register and book your stay or just give us a call. The October prepping events are run by world experts. I'd consider those. Plan that trip now and for November, tactical training kicks off the month. Would love to see some of you out for that one. Then round two of the wildly successful Observer Speed Dating, November 7th and 8th. Then the film premiere and Pole Shift Conference weekend and a potluck for Thanksgiving. ObserverRanch.com. We can't wait to see you in person, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 7.30 a.m. in Sarasota, Florida. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.